This is breaking news now on your side. Now on Live at 1230, that breaking news, learning more about a deadly house fire in West Dallas. Authorities wrapped up a news conference less than a half hour ago. Our Lacey Crisp joins us live from West Dallas at the fire department there with what we know now. Lacey. Well, West Dallas officials confirm three children died inside the fire, two four-year-old boys and a five-year-old girl. Now, police have arrested the children's mother. She is in police custody. Police tell us that she is cooperating. Now, uh, fire officials also tell us there was no adult at home when firefighters arrived. Now, sadly, this is the second deadly fire involving children within the past two months here in West Dallas. How hard has this been for uh, your crews? Who have, who have had fought both of these fighters? It's, it's very difficult, as you can imagine. Uh, it's always tough to lose a life, and in particular when you're dealing with such young children, uh, it makes it doubly as bad. And West Allis Fire, Police, and the ATF are all investigating. So far, we don't know the cause of the fire. Reporting live in West Allis, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. And Lacey, we had been reporting uh, as late as this morning that uh, there was initial concern that there might have been a fourth victim inside the home. It sounds like firefighters are satisfied that it was just the three. Initially, what happened is there was a hole in a floor in a bedroom, and, and they weren't able to get in there to find the victims right away. They know there were four children, so they assumed there may have been that fourth child inside the house, but they said once they were able to go inside the house, they only found the three children. At least that much is good news. All right, Lacey Chris reporting live for us in West Dallas. Thank you, Lacey. Neighbors in that area, as you can imagine, are shocked that something like this has happened. Nick Montez has that part of the story. A sad day in West Dallas for many neighbors who want to know what started this deadly fire. They have been coming in and out of their homes to watch investigators go through the rubble inside the home. They say not knowing who the victims are is what is so troubling. It worries me. As fire investigators search for answers into what caused a deadly house fire, friends of the family that lived here want answers too. Sadness. She was a real nice girl. I hope it wasn't her. William Heron knows one of the two women that live here and their four children. He says they moved in a year ago. He hasn't heard from any of them. Kind of strange it hits too close to home, you know. It's tragic. Firefighters report the intense fire was in the walls and attic. They found three bodies in the home, but the victims' names or ages have not been released. Can you tell us where those bodies were discovered? Uh, we found them on the second floor second floor bedroom. News that the victims could be children is very upsetting to neighbors. That's why we're just trying to make sense of it too and I know it might be a while before anybody makes any sense of anything. Now back here you see the living room window is gone. The ATF and the DOJ have been here all morning. They are working together to find the cause. In West Dallas, Nick Montez, today's TMJ4. Nick, thank you. And again, since uh, Nick filed this report, we have learned and confirmed from West Dallas uh, officials that the ages of the children were four-year-old boys, two of them, and a five-year-old girl. Uh, again, those are the three who were killed. Let's move on to the Storm Team forecast now.